Happy Formula, my name is Freedom. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm doing a quick video about what dog whistling really is. I'm going to use the example of David DeMars from DeMars Coaching um, and his ongoing dog whistling and abuse of Val from Toxic Free. Um, Val, as you may or may not know, has done a couple of interviews with me in regards to the ongoing uh, online abuse that she's experienced at the hands of her former friend, um, former online friend, David DeMars. Now, David DeMars always said he doesn't know Val he never speaks about her um he literally says he's never ever met her he doesn't know who she is and he never speaks about her so in this particular video this is his latest video about the goals and tactics of the narcissist smear campaign uh he has mentioned her four times throughout the video however the rest of the video the entire rest of the video is a dog whistle essentially it is him talking about his situation with Val he is trying to do the uh, old Davo technique so Val has called him out on his bad behavior so the Davo technique is the deny abuse then reverse the victim and oppressor and this is exactly what David DeMars is doing. So, like I said, here he is saying, uh, he's talking about all about the smear campaign. Essentially, as I said, he's just talking straight to and about Val. He does mention her in four spots. As many of you know, unfortunately, I have to talk about a one of the biggest public smear campaigns on YouTube. So unfortunate. Even though there's not a lot of people involved, it's disgusting. And it, I'm experiencing this right now. So I'm talking about this video because... The person smearing me does a, uh, a very narcissistic smear campaign tactic that they all do, and they try to convince other people that the victim is doing it to them. So That's interesting that you say that, David DeMars. It's so interesting. And you know what else is interesting? The fact that Val has come out with actual evidence and proof, whereas you have just made your allegations over the years and relied on your viewers being naive and trusting and gullible and just gobbling it all up. So I understand that you're in the process of trying to get together some some evidence, uh, which is interesting because we see your channel switching between narcissistic ex-girlfriend. No, sorry, what was it? Crazy narcissistic ex-girlfriend and Demar's coaching. So you're up to something and we're very well aware of it. Anyhow, so this is one of four. Um, and this is, like I said, I'm only proving this because, you know, some of David Demar's flying monkeys or his viewers you know they're acting like flying monkeys they're coming down to my channel leaving comments harassing people trying to you know um trying to defend david demars without actually even watching the video that's the first thing they're doing then they're flying back to david demars and reporting everything back and saying oh david david i i've stood up for you oh david david notice me please praise me praise me David DeMars is then in his own video telling people how to be flying monkeys. He's literally pointed out step by step, go to their channel, give them a thumbs down, um, report the video, uh, leave a negative comment. I mean, this is literally encouraging people to be flying monkeys. So this is supposed to be a life coach, a life coach, the life coach that did a 20 hour course online two-day course online and is out there treating people with their complex tra uh, post-traumatic stress disorder i mean this man is as fraudulent as they get yeah number two alcoholic you abuse and hurt people oh sorry let's just back that up a little bit drug addict alcohol so in this he's actually saying the things that val has said about him when he's just doing this, you know, this talk, it's just not, it's not about Val though. No, no, he's talking about the smear campaign, but he just happens to use the exact thing that Val said about him. You are a sexual predator. Yes, you, you are. You are a criminal. Yep. You're a horrible drug addict, alcoholic. I'm not sure you about that. You abuse and hurt people. Yes. We tend to believe what we first see and hear about somebody and we don't like bad people, especially people mistreating others. So that's a great shock value. They come right out sis and they're trying to make you discredit 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 and they want people to all around you to not like you okay no no one's one we don't care if people like you or not we care that you are doing damage within the community and you need to be taken out of this role no one cares if people like you or not we're not petty like you you're just a danger to our community that's why people are uh, bringing forth the evidence about you. What you are running is a smear campaign. Number two, 
They play the victim and hero, alternating between playing the victim and hero. So look at what this person did to me. This person did all these bad things to me. And if that's not enough, they make up victims. Well, he did this to this person and abused this person. Exact thing that the person stalking me is doing for five years. There's so many videos. Making up fake people, false people, false emails, false uh, Facebook uh, channels and stuff like that. So if I post... As I said, once again, he's literally talking about the case with he and Val from Toxic Free. Um, and the evidence that she has is in part her own and also other people have come forward. Not only has people come forward to Val, there's been evidence in the public arena from David DeMar's victims. So this is not just Val versus David DeMar's. This is the former um, clients of David DeMar's. This is Val, the woman in Mexico, and uh, other viewers of his. So the reality is, like I said, there's victims. Oh, and his ex. Let's not forget his ex. His ex, Val released the videos, uh, sorry, the emails, text messages between her and Ronnie from I think it was in 2016, and one of those text messages talked about how David Mars beat her black, black and bloody when she escaped him, when she finally escaped him. But as you may or may not be able to see by now, David DeMars is wearing a very nice mask. He's pretending to be um, a life coach, a caring person, when actual fact what he does is he just takes notes, reads them out loud and pretends to be a good person. Look at what he says right and then compare it to what he actually does so he says one thing you know he's always talking about how what a good bloke he is and how he's such a nice guy and rari rara but then listen to the way he talks about anyone who has anything bad said about him you know he t- calls them sick and tries to make out that there's something wrong with them you know anyhow let me just keep playing it oh dear like i said he mentions her four times in a video and he does it all the time he does it all the time but the ninny heads over there who are watching the show you know because they're not being dog whistled to they don't know they don't realize that he's talking about her because they just don't know now i'm drawing your attention to it pay attention it's a saying that i'm making countless videos about her oh and obviously it's all you have to do is go look and i don't oh this is the worst thing i've ever said right here Oh, look at the laugh. Look at the jupiter's delight. Oh, it's so funny, David. You're talking about someone that you say is your stalker. <laughs> but you find that so funny. Why do you find that so funny? Hmm. This, ladies and gentlemen, is jupiter's delight. This is why David DeMars is laughing right now. I'm going to just leave that freeze frame on that, that horrific smile and let you think about it. He's literally in a video talking about Val, talking about how he doesn't talk about Val while he's talking about Val. All right, where are we up to? That's point three. Never talks about her, doesn't know who she is. No, 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 no clue. Yep, okay. Lies lie. Me, me passes at me, tried to get me in their life and I, I wouldn't. Here we go. Here we go, this is funny. I've read every email and every text message between the two of these people so you know if there's one thing I know is that I mean even look to be to be real to be real even if Val did make a pass at David DeMars right which she didn't but even if she did that is not a crime you know that's not what ended their friendship well sorry that didn't occur but even if it did like I said that's not why their friendship ended their friendship ended because Val did a video talking about David DeMars' behaviour, and then he started smearing her. Me, he passes at me, tried to get me in their life, and I I wouldn't. Oh, and also I just remembered, do you remember in the last video where we showed you all the repeated amount of times that David said, I don't know this woman, I've never met this woman, I've never spoken to this woman, and he talks about things like, I know you people more, people who I've responded to in the comments section, than I do this woman. You know, 
So here he is now saying, oh, no, actually, he did actually talk to her. Apparently, she tried to crack on to him. Apparently. Where's your proof, David? Where is your proof? And so this was six years ago, and here we are five years later with massive, massive videos saying I'm a bad person. You know, even the thumbnail, having my face distorted and ugly and gray and more bags around my eyes, that's smearing, period. That's smearing. That's smearing, is it? Oh, all right. Let's just have a quick look. Let's have a little quick look, if I can, at the video that you made about your online petition. Who was that? Who is that? Just there, just here in the green with the stop sign and the David DeMars in the crosshairs of like a gun. Oh, oh gee, look at that. Mm, that's a thumbnail with Val and you've made her into a weird little cartoon creature. So what did you say again, David? Sorry, let's just go back over it. What did you say? You said that the thumbnail is a is a smear campaign? Having my face distorted and ugly and gray uh -huh. and more uh -huh. bags around my eyes, uh -huh. that's smearing, oh. period. Oh, thank that's you. That's smearing someone. Thank you for that so lesson. When you're trying to say that people are smearing you, but even in the thumbnail you're smearing them and then the title... Uh -huh. It doesn't make sense. Oh, and the title, the title, like the video that you did about Val, was it six weeks ago? Let's have a quick look at that one. That was fun, wasn't it? That was fun. It was fun because we ended up doing a video in response. Didn't think you'd get away with that, did you? Let's have a little look. Where is it? The narcissist. All right, let's have a look. Four weeks ago. Here's the little petition. Maybe it is that one. No, it's not that one. It's narcissistic. Oh, that's annoying. Has he removed it? He can't have removed it. Maybe he has removed it. Let's have a little look. This is another thing that um, these people will do is they will put up videos. Oh, no, here it is. It's still here. So, so he's talking about He's talking about the, the title and the description. So the dangerous online narcissistic predator exposed. So the video he did about Val, oh, where he did mention her name because he never mentions her name. Um, in fact, he did an entire video about her. So two months ago, Val hadn't had anything to do with David Mars, DeMars in the entire, like, last year. But now all cut off then. So I was just saying that... Um, Val hadn't done a video or anything, had anything to do with David Mars in at least the last year. Um, but being the narcissist that he is, he was obviously uh, fiending for some fuel, needing some attention. So he did his video, uh, Dangerous Online Narcissistic Predator Exposed, all about Val, 24 minutes worth, all about Val. Not supposedly about Val, not or she's imagining it's about Val, it's all about his stalker, which, as everyone knows, is allegedly is Val from Toxic Free. The reality is a very different thing. But, you know, narcissists and reality, uh, their relationship between, you know, truth, it's pretty, pretty slippery, their grasp and grip on reality and the truth. So this is your... Uh, NARC 101 lesson in dog whistling. So the next time any of you decide to say, oh, well, he never speaks about her, I'd like you to go and watch this video and then maybe watch some more of his videos and do what I did, spend a little bit of time actually paying attention and running a little tally and see how many times he mentions her in all of his videos because, believe me, he mentions Val a lot, but he never, ever says her name.